let's consider how we decompose a list of numbers following the quick sort algorithm that we just described. We'll start with this list of numbers. What we need to do is pick a pivot. We'll pick the first element, 5, and then split the list into the numbers that are bigger than 5 and the numbers that are smaller than 5. Here's what that looks like. 2, 1, 2, and 3 are the numbers that are smaller than 5. 6, 8, and 7 are the numbers that are bigger than 5. And 5 is the pivot in the orange circle. Now we've got two smaller sorting problems, so we'll decompose those again. Now we have 2 and 6 as the two pivots, and we have something new. There's no numbers smaller than 6 in the list 6, 8, 7, so we have an empty list of numbers smaller than 6, represented by a black dot. We've still got several smaller sorting problems, so we'll decompose them again. We've now reduced almost all of our sorting problems, so we've just got the last two, the list with just two, and the list with just seven. We'll decompose them again. Now we've decomposed everything into empty lists, pivots, and the tree connecting all of them. How do we put this back together to see a sorted list? We just read off all of the pivots from left to right. Highlighted here in blue, we just have 1, 2, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, and 8. That's the list that we started with, sorted in increasing order. By decomposing the problem appropriately using pivots, we ended up with exactly the list in the right order, and we can read it off from this tree very easily.